Hey guys, Jacob here. In this video, I'm going to show you another puzzle I made. So, this time I made a 9x9. Um, and uh, as you can see, it does work. It's entirely 3D printed. And uh, the mechanism is very similar to that of the V-Cube 9. Um, I'm not really able to take this one apart just because how tight it is, but... Um, Anyway, this cube is 80 millimeters, and uh, here it is compared to the Yushin 9x9, which is 90 millimeters, and the Meilong, which is 74. I'm also going to compare it to the uh, 7x7 I made, which is 60 millimeters. So... This cube does work, although it is very catchy. Um, but yeah, as you can see, every layer works. Um, I'm gonna put it into I'm gonna put it into a checkerboard pattern. So, yeah, um, there you go. And, uh, as always, this puzzle has 3D printed tiles instead of stickers, which you can see if you look very closely. This is the highest order puzzle I've ever made, and I'm currently working on another puzzle, which is equally as complex, if not more. Um, you will see what that is probably in a few weeks. Um, but anyway, in case you're wondering, each layer is about seven millimeters thick. But of course, with 3D printing, the accuracy isn't perfect, so there's some slight variance. But for the most part, they're all seven millimeters. So, another thing is, um, this cube has removable center caps, um, although they are a bit tricky to remove, um, so they are just basic square caps that go in there. As you can see, the screw is pretty deep in there. The core came from a Chi 3x3. So the springs are a bit soft for what a 9x9 should have, although I didn't really have any any stronger springs, so that's why it's a bit it's a bit loose. But at the current tension it's at, it works pretty well while also being stable. I had this cube looser before and uh, the catching was ten times worse, so I tightened it to help with that and it has helped. And as far as um, the turning of the different layers, I would say the outside layers turn the best. They're kind of they're kind of fast and effortless. The second best I would say are the fourth layers, which aren't as good, but they're still pretty smooth. And then the third layers are the third best, and then uh, the worst layers are the second ones. They are the catchiest layers and the most difficult to turn. I originally tried making this cube 70 millimeters instead of 80, but the pieces were not turning out very well because they were so small, so I had to scale it up some. But... Yeah, I'm running out of things to say about this puzzle. Uh, like I said earlier, it has the exact same mechanism as a V-Cube 9. Uh, if you don't know what that is, look it up. But this cube is too tight to really take apart. Um, and it's too much work to take the caps out and loosen it. So um, I'm just going to leave it at that. And... Uh, 
anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.